Hi everyone, what's going on? Before diving into this short video, I'd like to let you know that this week I will publish a video where I explain one additional fantastic study skill that rarely you heard about, so stay tuned. Today's video is shorter than the standard video which usually elaborates on a topic and then delivers a set of tools or procedures to use in science-based settings. One thing that I'm sure you are not doing or that you did not start to put into practice at university and that might affect your future career is asking the following question. How does this particular degree program might help me achieve the desired final result? Attention, this is a key idea, so let me explain you why. I consider the desired result an end product you can hold in your hands, something tangible that you desire strongly. So before embarking on a degree program or even during your career as a student, it doesn't matter if you study mathematics, engineering, physics, or any other science-based field, you have to pinpoint precisely this end product, which is not to say, I wanna become a great mathematician, I wanna become a great physicist like Enrico Fermi, or I want to work at NASA as an engineer and make a lot of money. And the reason is very simple, because this is a blank statement leading you nowhere. A tangible end product sounds more or less like this. I want to be able to build an app that makes facial recognition with 100% accuracy and zero cost by the next four years. Or I want to become a math teacher and introduce a new method that teaches students how to solve hard contest problems quickly. Or I want to become an aerospace engineer and introduce a new concept, a wing, that enhances the aerodynamic performances of civil airplanes. Or I want to devise a new method that helps predict with 100% accuracy dangerous earthquakes one year ahead of the catastrophic event. This is very useful because if you can't think about your mission, either you have chosen the wrong university or you have chosen a good one, but you are moving aimless. So in summary, step number one, define your mission as an end product. Step number two, applying fractionation technique. Remember, when you study, ask how might this subject, this equation, this particular chapter theory or this theorem, this lab, help me achieve my mission. And once you identify it, start working on it, start reflecting on it, generate research questions and prioritize them. You will see that your level of engagement with your studies will boost to the moon.